Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel a video. New Evil Twin support. Or at least one of the new cards recently uh, revealed was uh, their new Link 4. And um, I'm honest, when I first saw the card I was like, hmm, this, this seems okay. But, um, you know, through playtesting, eventually I was like, oh, this card is bonkers. <laughs> it's really, really good. I started off playing with only two, but I immediately... Um, after some duels already slapped it up to, you know, pumped it up to three in the main deck simply because it's a quick effect. Obviously, you have the capability to, let's say, tag out during your opponent's turn. And as you know, the interaction with both the blue one and, uh, the, you know, the names, not going to butcher the names, but the blue link, red link, uh, gets the, the draw off of red link plus the pop during, let's say, your opponent's turn is quite strong, potentially drawing, uh, this letting you draw into more hand traps. So that's why I feel this deck could definitely be a top tier contender, depends on the pen list, of course. But, um, you know, this, this Link 4 is definitely strong. So ending it most of the time, you know, your turn with your Link 4 is strong, especially if you have both red, uh, red and blue in your graveyard, right? To have that interaction during your opponent's turn. Plus, well, as you saw in the main deck, I'm running multiple hand traps, and that's something I like. Like here, pop something, draw something, that could be a hand trap, could be Ash Blossom, could be Bell, Veiler, Skullmeister. Again, any hand trap you uh, main deck or prefer. Losing the Nibiru token, that's fine. Plus, let's not forget their effects, I guess, reset. So, here in this case, I use the graveyard effect of the Link 4 to banish itself. And then you need to tribute, here in this case, one of your links. And then uh, something from your opponent's side of the field will be sent to the graveyard. So, again, fantastic. Can tag out itself. It will be in the graveyard. Potentially, you know, be like a threat throughout the entire duel. Plus, let's say you tribute one of your, um, you know, evil twin links, you'll just get the capability to use the other one. You, you know, if red is on the field, you can just reborn blue and vice versa. Uh, so the opponent, uh, atta um, not attaching, but, you know, getting something from the deck, I guess, or adding it something, adding something to his hand. You know, you can banish the, is it Frost? I believe it's Frost. Not for too familiar with the names, but, you know, uh, one of those search targets, or this is one of the, the search targets off of blue, if you know what summon it, or, you know, special summon it. But um, that's most of the time you the one you want to have in your graveyard, I guess, just in case if your opponent does add something, search something, um, banish itself to draw one card. So potentially giving you more answers, you know, for those, um, or drawing into hand traps, I guess. Uh, something not to, um, um, I guess, well, I don't know. I mean, I decided to add in the prison as well. The, the trap, Ice Dragon Prince, uh, pri uh, Prison, yeah, that's the name. <laughs> I always say Princess, but um, it, again, because it's such a, it's such a powerful anti-meta card, I guess, plus, um, I mean, Solemn Strike might also be good, because I feel this deck is quite similar to, let's say, Sky Strikers, uh, those one-card engines, um, uh, it generates advantage, draws, destruction, plus the fact that, again, your one-card engine, you can run more hand traps, more traps. So uh, your prison, for example, is one of those, plus maybe solemn, but uh, again, that's up to you. As you saw in the main deck, or at least as you saw in the deck list, I'm not running, uh, or maybe one, yeah, one, I'm running one. Uh, the, um, you know, the, the evil, well, this one of the evil twin traps that has the capability to like creature swap something, you know, on both players' fields. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of the other ones. I just prefer either hand traps or, you know, generic disruption that don't need like an evil twin, for example, on my side of the field, right? Um, so this is, I, I think this was, you know, a cool interaction. Again, the, um, as you know, the Shadow Fusion works uh, with materials. At least you are able to send materials from your deck to the graveyard if your opponent controls a monster special summon from the extra deck. But if you deck out your Link 4 and special summon the two Link monsters from the graveyard, again, your opponent will not be able to use the materials from the main deck. Because again, those Links are not considered, are being considered special summon from the extra deck. Um, I'm running double abomination uh, in the extra deck. I'm well, one is probably enough. But the thing is, though, is that um, as you saw, um, there are duels that you're at least that you're definitely using your link for the new one, the evil twin one. Um, 
like three times, three times in a duel, because again, it has the capability to quick effect tag out during your own turn plus during your opponent's turn. Plus, let's say you can go to the battle phase, attack for 3,300, so it's massive attacks that definitely can come into play as well. Tag out and then, you know, attack with the other monsters as well. And then during main phase 2, we can just make it again to have that potential interruption during your opponent's turn. So that's super, super flexible, right? Um... So again, yeah, that Appaloosa definitely helps out. I'm, 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 I'm a super fan of uh, uh, talents here in the main deck. I, I've seen lists running Droplet, I guess that's okay as well. But uh, the thing though is that with um, um, Evil Twin getting, let's say, there, like, like a Rota, um, it makes the deck much more consistent. They already have a Spell Searcher and that Spell Searcher could search out their Hero Lifts, which again, they, they are... Uh, also, at least they're all extenders. Let's say, as you saw in one of the previous duels, if your opponent has like a Gamma on your normal summon, like here, what happens here, as Gamma on your normal summon, or as Nibiru, for example, you, uh, definitely, you, you, you definitely can play uh, into that and play around it eventually, because again, you know, with this, the, the, the deck has a Hero Lifts, the deck has a Spell Searcher that searches either their Rota or Hero Lifts, so again, that kind of makes the deck more consistent and resilient uh, against your opponent's hand traps, right? And again, you're just ending on this very easy-to-make board being the Link 4, and of course, with hand traps, with protection, and of course, the link uh, 4 on its own is an interruption on its own, right? So draw one, pop one, um, plus the interaction, of course, during your own turn. Virtual World is a decent matchup. You have the prison, again, to banish something, but again, keep in mind the, the types could be different, you know, psychic and um, what is it? Is it beasts? Not sure, not sure about that. Or fiend? Uh, can't remember. But it uh, doesn't really matter too much, that's definitely a psychic, a psychic. So I'm going to bell that, that pre well, kind of prevented the tuner from coming out, right? We know one of the traps is still there, and uh, yep, there it is. So uh, using prison to again, reborn psychic, banish the other psychic, which conveniently is a tuner. Messier 7 hits the board, but that's fine, I guess. I'm going to lose uh, one of my links, but again, that's cool, because again, you, you, you know, you can use your rat during your own uh, turn. Zeus is hitting the board, I guess that's fine, because uh, as I'm mentioned before is that the link 4 is in the graveyard so again I can just get rid of Zeus during my turn by sacrificing one of my links for example so even this scenario Zeus wasn't that big of a deal and any one card evil twin combo is again basically your full field so draw one pop one um, going for the link 4 you know at 3300 ah, okay there were some duels where one of the or at least the earlier duels when I was testing the deck is um, where I was playing only two of their link 4 so you might see me make some you know some uh, strange plays I guess not tagging out uh, because again you want to end on your link for at all times right yeah, preferably the evil twin or abomination um, so this is cool again getting the draw the fact that those are once per turn it's it's superb and uh, unlike sky striker you aren't blocked if you control regular monsters in the main monster zone so go for abomination already have the potential interruption here also a uh, call by the grave is there that's also cool ash blossom enhanced so again this should be my duel uh, reborn something for the pop hit one of the virtual world monsters and that's you know gg well played um so again i feel that that evil twin with this link for definitely who knows more support from burst of destiny i believe the set is it, it could definitely be a meta contender even though in the ocg we are not seeing the deck too much Anyway, last example, so again, going first, I think, and um, yeah, what, what I was saying, again, you know, the, the thing though is that this deck, again, with the new support, and the support they got in, uh, you know, previous uh, sets, the fact that this deck uh, has the capability to follow it up after or post an opponent's hand trap, like Gamma, like Ash Blossom, uh, with our hero lifts, which is searchable, they have a road to sign it mining, I believe is still there, uh, should still be made because again, consistency. Uh, but the thing though is that, and that's the reason why I like this deck so much, is that the, the deck, I guess, consists of one card engines. You know, your one card evil twin or, you know, life twin summon is uh, a link four, and the link four already on its own is a pop plus draw, and you know, that, 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 that's again quite ridiculous, right? 
So Duster immediately, you know, gets rid of the entire board and that leaves me uh, using the rota and then, you know, the, the, the deck speaks for itself. Surge Blue, Normal Summon, uh, is it Frost again? Again, if your opponent adds something to the hand, banish it, draw one, so that's always cool. You always want to have it in your graveyard. Two is, two is enough in your main deck. So again, the sweet interaction here, thanks to the Link 4, the search is fine. Uh, opponents adds uh, something from his main deck to the hand so I can draw one and again on the link four so again these were the duels I was definitely managing three of their new link four because again the interaction tag out uh, trying to reborn something and that's you know that's always quite nice so getting the free draw hopefully some hand traps sadly not but um uh, Imperm is indeed going to prevent the Tri Brigade from getting out stuff. Monster Reborn is an iffy one, um, you know, banishing. Yeah, I think I need to Imperm that. Um, I guess you're going to banish my back row, so that's why I needed to do that. But no interaction here during my turn, so the Cyanide Mining is again coming in clutch. Plus, I have Ash Blossom for next turn, so again, this should be my duel again. Normal Summon for the full combo, basically. Uh, going for reds, reborn blue, you know, going for blue, reborn reds, getting the a draw here, hopefully some disruption. Um, this is indeed going to be the searcher. Uh, so, uh, okay, ah, okay, this was my mistake. I uh, overlooked, or I was playing a little bit too hasty, and I was like, okay, let's tribute one of the effect monsters, but that's that's not possible. So I was forced to tribute one of my links away, but I can uh, recover by, uh, you know, Leaving red on the field, reborn blue, pop something, prevent my opponent from putting out Zeus, a big Zeus that is, so that's important. Um, and um, yeah, again, no interaction during my turn, so that's all cool. Um, Talents is also there, so yeah, t t t two draws, ending on the link four, th still during the battle phase. Tag out for more damage, and that's GG well played. So I definitely like the, uh, the new support, who knows, we might get more support for Evil Twins, but keep an eye out for this deck. It's it might be your next uh, top tier contender, even though it does have a lot of weaknesses, the consistency is definitely there. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.